For years, there have been few breakthroughs and significant advancements in the battery manufacturing process. The human race has been stuck with lithium-ion batteries for more than a decade. While scientists are working hard to develop a breakthrough battery technology, we are still a long way from being able to use it. However, in a letter to shareholders recapping Q2 of 2021, solid-state battery manufacturer QuantumScape has offered some exciting updates surrounding its solid-state battery technology, which we will discuss later in the video. Since the globe is becoming more environmentally conscious, people are attempting to become eco-friendly and attempting to consume and live on recycled materials, which will eventually be used in renewable energy. As the world moves to prioritize sustainable energy, it is safe to say Tesla is one of the companies at the forefront of the sustainable energy business. As Tesla continues to grow, gasoline car companies naturally see a drop in revenue, causing some to go bankrupt, but the real question is, does Tesla's 4680 battery destroy solid-state batteries? This question will be answered today. But first, welcome to Tesla Unity, where we talk about the future of Tesla, Tesla stock, and Elon Musk's projects. If you're new here it will be greatly appreciated if you liked and subscribed to our channel, it's free and you can always change your mind. Solid State Battery Recent News Before we compare Tesla's 4680 battery to solid state batteries, we must know what stage of production both battery types are in for a fair comparison. Regarding the Q2 2021 shareholder letter, QuantumScape stated it is developing and testing multiple layered versions of its solid-state batteries as part of a timeline for scaled production in the next several years. QuantumScape is a solid-state battery manufacturer founded in 2010 with the goal of developing scalable, effective solid-state batteries. In addition to millions of dollars of funding from major automakers like Volkswagen Group, QuantumScape went public in the fall of 2020 via a reverse Spock merger with Kensington Capital Acquisition. Last December, the battery developer announced a major breakthrough in its technology, by utilizing a ceramic separator, leading to successful testing of single-layer prototype cells. This past March, we reported that QuantumScape was also seeking funding to double the size of its initial pilot manufacturing line. Per today's letter to shareholders, QuantumScape has made strides implementing the new pilot line, and has begun testing solid-state batteries well beyond the aforementioned single-layer prototypes. QuantumScape is already testing 10-layer solid-state battery cells. In its quarterly letter to shareholders, QuantumScape has offered a glimpse behind its solid-state curtain with multiple progress updates. The biggest news to come out of the report was the announcement of a 10-layer solid-state battery. Not only has the QuantumScape created this solid-state battery, but it has already begun testing it. QuantumScape set a goal to showcase these 10-layer solid-state batteries by the end of 2021, so it is ahead of schedule at this point. The company plans to continue to develop and improve these cells through 2021 and into next year, followed by test cells for electric vehicles from its QS0 pre-pilot production line in 2023. Production line updates and future timeline. Speaking of its pre-pilot line, QuantumScape has ordered already long lead equipment for the 197,000 square feet, facility for which it signed a long-term lease this past April. Since the company's cell design is anode-free, Assembly requires no metallic lithium, instead, QuantumScape utilizes a ceramic separator. With multiple layer batteries being tested, and a QS0 pilot line being assembled, QuantumScape appears closer than ever to producing scalable solid-state batteries. As you can see in the shared timeline above, full commercialization of its batteries remains years away, but QuantumScape has a seemingly realistic plan of attack. The next big focus will be prototype sampling next year before the QS0 line manufactures solid-state battery cells that might actually be implemented in EVs in 2023. Tesla 4680 Battery Latest Update Tesla has released a rare update on 4680 battery cell production, which is critical to launching the automaker's upcoming new electric vehicle programs. The company confirms that there's still some work to do. The 4680 battery cell was unveiled at Tesla's Battery Day in September 2020. The automaker presented several new pieces of technology that combined together result in a more energy-dense cell that could reduce costs by 50%. One of the most significant improvements that 4680 cells bring to the table is the ability to build a structural battery pack that makes the pack part of the vehicle structure, reducing parts, weight, and cost. Tesla has been running a pilot factory for the new battery cell in Fremont where CEO Elon Musk has been guiding reaching a production capacity of 10 gigawatt hour by the end of 2021. Today, with the release of its Q2 2021 financial results, Tesla released a rare update about its progress toward that goal. 
Tesla said. We have successfully validated performance and lifetime of our 4680 cells produced at our Cato facility in California. We are nearing the end of manufacturing validation at Cato. Field quality and yield are at viable levels and our focus is now on improving the 10% of manufacturing processes that currently bottleneck production output. While substantial progress has been made, we still have work ahead of us before we can achieve volume production. Internal crash testing of our structural pack architecture with a single-piece front casting has been successful. In short, Tesla managed to get some progress done, but they still have more work to do before achieving any volume production. The 4680 battery cell is expected to power several of Tesla's upcoming new vehicle programs, including Tesla Semi and Model Y, produced at Gigafactory Texas and Berlin. Once Tesla has figured production at the Cato facility, it is expected to deploy high-volume 4680 battery cell capacity at those new factories under construction. Tesla's battery. While the range has been dramatically increased in the past few years by Tesla, Tesla's 4680 battery is only going to improve the existing range enormously. The current range offered by Tesla Model S begins from 390 miles to 412 miles already. Tesla's 4680 battery is going to increase the energy density by 6 times, the power by 6 times, and the range by 16%. The new 4680 battery will be capable of storing 380 watt-hours per kilogram, amounting to a 54% improvement over the Panasonic 2170 cells currently used in the Tesla Model 3. Costs per kilowatt-hour will decline by about 56%. This already translates to equally competing with solid-state batteries. Also to note, the QuantumScape is still estimated to commercially produce their solid-state batteries by 2026. By 2026, Tesla could build a more efficient, sustainable, and high-energy storing density battery. QuantumScape's solid-state battery. Toyota and Volkswagen are joint investors in QuantumScape, and QuantumScape's solid-state batteries are capable of offering 375 miles for 500 watt-hours per kilogram. Also for a technology that is estimated to start mass production in 2026, Tesla has already achieved this feat in 2021. While solid-state battery is a whole new invention in battery technology, the production costs and the adaptation of this technology worldwide is being argued over by analysts and tech fans. Toyota and Volkswagen are optimistic about the future and this battery technology as it is offering a competing range, for example, 375 miles in its first generation. Charging Duration QuantumScape promises to charge from 10% to 80% in just about 12 minutes. Tesla, on the other hand, already takes 20 to 30 minutes to fast charge from 10% to 80%. With Tesla's 4680 battery in the future, the charging time will be much quicker, because of the addition of additional silicone to the anode. Generally, when more silicone is added to the battery, it results in a faster charging time. Cost of battery production. Lithium-ion and solid-state battery both have their own set of challenges. Lithium-ion, although, is a very mature market and is widely built around the world, it is not very cost-efficient when comparing with solid-state batteries. On the other hand, while the solid-state battery is very easy to make, scaling is a bottleneck to this industry to produce batteries on a large scale. Currently, solid-state batteries are only being researched by few companies, unlike lithium-ion, which has been around for more than a decade and is an understood and easy-to-make battery option at present for any industry to manufacture their own lithium-ion battery. Therefore, migrating to the solid-state battery from lithium-ion will be a very slow process. Future of Battery World While everyone is at a race trying to produce a long-lasting and highly powerful and efficient battery, solid-state is the first one to emerge out to battle lithium-ion. The solid-state battery is being researched by a lot of automakers for instance, Samsung and Hyundai investing in Colorado-based solid power. Massachusetts-based Ionic Materials has received investment from a fund backed by Nissan, Mitsubishi, and Renault. Tesla is still competitively ahead, thanks to its early adoption and years of research in lithium-ion battery making for EVs. But, does that mean Tesla will never use solid-state batteries? No. They are just waiting for it to grow solid just like its name. Do you think Tesla's 4680 batteries will be better than the solid-state batteries in 2025? Let me know down below.